Hello, welcome to electrictv.net. Thanks for being with us. Today, in part three of our training on display series, we take you to the West Coast, more specifically, the Bay Area, a traditional stronghold for NECA and the IBEW. You might think that this leads to a laissez-faire attitude when it comes to training. The, if it ain't broke, don't fix it approach. That couldn't be further from the truth. In San Leandro, California, where Northern California NECA and IBEW Local 595, they aren't just standing still and cashing checks. They've just finished building one of the greenest buildings in the world, and they use their own technology, their own know-how, and their own money to put it all together. San Leandro is a city of 85,000, located in the center of the San Francisco Bay Area, and we're one of the most diverse cities, not only in California, but also the nation. We have a rich manufacturing history in San Leandro that we're very proud of, and we're also working towards becoming a center of innovation by bringing in new businesses that are linked to the revolutions occurring in wireless technology, advanced manufacturing, and clean energy. NECA and IBW have been in San Leandro, have been a welcome um, member of our community for decades. They had to make the decision, though, to expand to a new location, and we're very glad that they chose to remain here in San Leandro. Local 595 started its apprenticeship training program just after World War II. So in 1946, we had a program that was state approved. The initial training was done in the garages of inside wiremen. Uh, who were just working in the field and wanted to train uh, new apprentices. So from very humble beginnings, we started with training in garages to now we have this huge investment in the future training of our inside wiremen and, and apprentices, and it's called the ZeroNet Energy Center. For those of us who've gone through the apprenticeship, you know, this is what made the biggest difference in our lives. So we found a building that we thought suited our needs, uh, the size, a uh, single story. And with that, we proceeded down this path to in fact have a training center to meet the needs of the future, an optimum learning environment. As we started in our design process, the idea of zero net energy came up in the conversation. Basically, how much energy you use over the course of one calendar year is equal to the energy that you produce on site. We could have easily powered up a building and provided a megawatt of photovoltaics and windmills all throughout the parking lots. What we did instead was we decided to build a building that was more efficient. So we took this 46,000 square foot building and the first thing that, you know, we looked at it, the design team, the architects, the, the energy consultant, you know, the general contractor that was on board, was how do we make the shell of the building as energy efficient as possible, but at the same time, something that was unique to this design. To get to zero net energy, we needed to install renewable energy on site. We did that two ways. One you can see are the solar photovoltaic panels, but also we added some wind turbines. So the wind turbines are behind me. Now these roof monitors do four functions. The obvious is, with the roof monitor sloped 30 degrees facing to the south, they are where the solar PV panels are mounted. Behind me is this roof monitor. You can see it's red here. Uh, no solar PV panels were needed on that particular monitor, but you'll see these windows that they're painted gray right now. And what those are is those are facing on the east and west sides of the roof monitors, and they open up to allow the hot air that is in the building to exhaust out through the stack effect. Facing north on these roof monitors, are windows that allow the natural light to come in to lighten the spaces below. One roof monitor was turned 180 degrees so that the windows are facing south, so in the fall and the winter, the sun's lower in the horizon, the sun comes through the window and it heats a, a, a wall below, and that's in effect thermal mass, where we naturally, during the fall and winter months, bring the heat of the sun into the center core of the north end of the building. We incorporated Lutron's quantum lighting control system in the building, use of LED lighting, motion sensors, et cetera, ambient light sensors, daylight sensors, to in effect reduce our lighting load, our lighting consumption to 50% of similar buildings of this size and type. Heating and ventilation. We used a system called the variable refrigerant flow system, 
without going into too much detail. It uses refrigerant to both remove heat from an area, liquid refrigerant expands into a hot gas when it comes into contact with ambient air that is warm. And then we take that hot gas and redirect it to another portion of the building where that may need heating. It's also used to heat the water, the water system here at the Zero Net Energy Center. When you have labor and management working together, uh, when customers hear that we're working together, when the community leaders hear that we're working together, it's a magical thing. We wanted to invest in our apprentices and journeymen to, sh to give them the new technologies and uh, experiences that they will have in the, in the new energy, uh, renewable energy fields. Government can't do it alone. We need to work in partnership with business and with labor, and this is a perfect example of how the three groups, business, labor, and government, can come together and create a model for other businesses, other groups, to implement sustainable energy systems, to promote clean energy, and to reduce carbon emissions. Powerful words from a mayor of a pretty good-sized town about the impact of the NECA IBEW team. The ZNE Center opened this fall to apprentices and journeymen in the Bay Area, and initial reactions are extremely positive. The solar array generates 127 kilowatts of AC power. The wind turbines are generating an additional 12 kilowatts of AC. And when you add all the green technology in play together, the building is consuming 75% less energy when compared to other similar size and type commercial buildings. That's good enough for a LEED Silver designation from the U.S. Green Building Council. This type of center represents the NECA IBEW commitment to training the very best electricians and the very best technologies so they can make money for you. While you're here on the site, why not check out parts one and two of our training on display series found in our archives. Thanks for being with us on this edition of Electric TV. We appreciate your visit and hope you'll come back and see us again soon. Check us out on Twitter and don't forget to like Electric TV on Facebook as well. Until then, I'm Dominic Giratano.